What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about what lenses I use for motorcycle photography. Main lens is going to be the 24-70 f2.8. This is such a versatile lens, you can pretty much do anything with it. 24 is wide enough to get a, an ambient shot, 70 is good enough to get a macro shot. Which bring me to the second lens, which is a 90 macro. This lens is very specific, any small details on the bike, this will do great. As a third lens, I normally use a 35 1.4. This is a 1.2, but I wouldn't shoot at 1.2 just because it's too shallow. Details of the bike, but wider, and because you have the 1.4, it's gonna make it look a lot more cinematic and it just gives a different look. What I like to do is I always push the bike in an area that is a bit more open and it gives me a bit more space to like work around the bike. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go just at the end of the car park and then I'm gonna give you a breakdown on what lenses I use for what. We're gonna start shooting with the 24. When I do that, especially in a car park, you wanna be looking for leading lines on the floor, shapes. For example, here we have a really cool leading line to the bike, which is also yellow, which means we can turn the yellows into greens like the bike, which will make a really cool effect. You'll see in the final images. So the options that you have for this is to either get high and shooting down at the bike, or the other option is to get low and using the, the leading lines to draw attention to the bike. So this is mainly at 24, but I'm also working about 50 mil, which gives you a bit more compression. So now I'm shooting from above down, still using the lines to create sort of like a leading line to the bike, but from a different angle. So the exciting thing about shooting a new bike is that every new bike has his own sort of characteristic, his own a sort of like vibe to it. There's something new that I discover or something else that is not on other bikes. That's enough for the 2470. I'm gonna switch over to the 90 mil macro. So with the lens, we're mainly looking at details on the bike, on the wheels, on the handlebars, logos that are hidden, just stuff that your normal eye wouldn't see. As I was saying, with the 90 macro, you want to look for details that the eye doesn't see. So for example, I can see on the suspension, they look really cool, bright colors. So what I'm going to do is go in with the 90 macro and get really, really close to it. Look how crazy that is. That's why I can't stress enough that a macro lens for product photography is just a must. We're looking for details. So for example, I really like this detail on the wheel of this circle that has a Triumph logo in the middle. So I'm just gonna get really close. As I was saying, you wanna look for details. So for example, there is this really cool logo that is being engraved into the handlebar. More logos that can just draw your viewer's eye into your photos. And look how close I can get. Also, it's not just stuck as a macro lens. It obviously still a 90 mil. So it gives a really cool compression. So even if you're not getting really close to your subject, you can still get a really nice image from far away. Right, last lens, uh, 35, 1.2. Again, I'm not gonna shoot at 1.2 because it's too shallow, but this will give us sort of like wider shots with a really nice shallow depth of field. This lens from Sigma is really cool because you have a, a variable aperture but it's got a ring on the lens, so you can change it really quickly with your fingers instead of using the toggles on the camera. So drop this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.